Hello everyone, this is Slashot. So today I'm upgrading Ledin's Heart Bomb to level 10. And right now this is Ledin's stats. And with an upgrade of his Heart Bomb to level 10, he will gain massive boost to HP, defense, magic defense, you know, extra on top of level 9. And he will unlock the level 10 bonus. All hero stats plus 5%. I have farmed uh, enough Core of Supremacy uh, finally from all the Eternal Temple bosses uh, basically all the level 60 ones uh, except uh, the Valkyrie uh, which, is, uh, which I've cleared at level 55. Uh, I have not progressed uh, my time really uh, as much unfortunately uh, but I, I should have enough hopefully enough from the guild store. So let's look at the guild store. Uh, I need this bond feather. I need two of them. Yep, I do have enough. I believe it's feather of vigor. So let's just double check again. Right? Yes, feather of vigor. All right. So we need eight of them. So we buy two feather of vigor number one. And then we buy another one. So then we'll have 10. All right, behold, the moment of truth. Upgrade, all stats plus 5%. All right, so let's go back to Leiden. Uh, Leiden's character sheet. So he, he just gained like, I think about a hundred power. And now he has a big boost across all his stats. So this is uh, very, very, very good for what I need uh, in tough contents. Uh, what remains to be upgraded is his weapon. Uh, there's one, uh, I think, Oath of Justice it was called. Uh, that is one of his best in slot, uh, and there's one freely available, I believe, in regular, regular time rift, uh, ten eight, and then there is another best in slot alternative, which is from the Sacred Realm store. Uh, you have to do event points, uh, and I will actually just show you. Uh, if you go to Sacred Realm, and their Sacred Realm store. There is Leiden's weapon somewhere here. Trial of Faith. Leiden Special. HP attack, uh, as you know, most of the weapon do. And they give defense, magic defense percentage bonus, I believe up to 5% at level 50. After killing an enemy, gain effect, block one instance of fatal damage, then restore hero's HP to its previous amount. Only one revival can be triggered in this status for one turn. This effect can only trigger once per two turns. So this gi give Led Ledin a very much needed revival skill for PvE contents. Uh, arguably is a, a better uh, best in slot. Uh, but I can't do all the events yet, uh, unfortunately. They're quite hard. Uh, I will slowly do them and maybe farm this. Uh, the alternative, if we go to the summon page, gallery, equipment. Let's look at all the weapons. Uh, it is not this one. We've we actually look at this already. <clears throat> Oath of Justice. Uh, it gives more defense and magic defense percentage boost. Uh, just flat, you know, stats percentage boost. Uh, I believe it's like plus eight percent each. Uh, so you trade three percent each to get a revival skill. Uh, which I think is worth it for PvE, absolutely. Uh, if you want to do maximum damage, Oath of Justice is available. Uh, and you can get one from uh, Time Rift 10-8 uh, Secret Chest. Uh, then, my Leiden would have pretty much all best in slot gears. Uh, actually, the there's better armors, uh, but this works for now with Hard Rock uh, healing. Uh, 
you know, getting a boost uh, from Aeneas armor, uh, and I use regenerate right now. Uh, Sophia's regenerate, so this helped him, him healthy. Uh, so it's okay for now. Uh, <clears throat> Bloodline magic armor might be better. It has thirty percent chance to reduce uh, melee damage by thirty percent. Uh, the Hand of Terror is a new item uh, from recent uh, equipment events. Uh, in fact, it was available from uh, before the before that it was even uh, actually launched uh, because it was already in the, in the database when uh, there was uh, another event, <coughs> and I got it from the uh, uh, kind of Langrisser two follow up story events special rewards, uh, and this give 10% defense, which is amazing for him. Uh, and after after taking action, if you have an attack, a skill damage plus 10% and counter attack damage plus 10%. So this is amazing for Leiden as a counter attack tank. Usually you just divine guard uh, and you don't do uh, you know, uh, offensive attack uh, for most PV contents. So, so this is absolutely uh, uh, very good equipment. Uh, and King Amulet was a free item from level 50 uh, system uh, system gift. This is also his best in slot to give the most defense and magic defense boost in percentage when a friendly unit is within two block. Uh, so uh, there are alternatives like Overlord badge that give like five percent stats to everything and grant immunity to things like um, I think movement debuff and defense magic defense debuff, things like that. Uh, so that's a, another good alternative uh, for sure. For maximum damage, uh, King, King Amulet would be the best. Uh, so now, uh, to improve Lightning even further, it's a matter of just rolling some random enchants. So the percentage is higher. You can get up to 15% actually defense or magic defense uh, armor and helmet. And I think you can get up to 10% on um, accessory. You can only get up to 5% on weapon. So this is kind of already at max. So we can roll for more defense, magic defense, as well as HP uh, to boost Leiden even further. But now he's already very, very, very strong. <clears throat> uh, all right. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully this helps uh, anyone else who's thinking of using Leiden and doing some comparison and looking at uh, what's the proper equipment to use for him. Uh, upgrading his bond is very very important uh, and uh, good luck to you all. Slash shout out.